It's trash day, I'm putting you out, it's trash day. Putting you out, it's trash day. Putting you out of my mind. It's trash day, I'm putting you out, it's trash day. I'm putting you out, trash day, I'm putting you out of my mind. Now I'm gonna clean up, now I'm gonna clean up, now I'm gonna clean up the house. Taking all your garbage, taking all your garbage, taking all your garbage. Welcome to WCCN. I'm your hostess with the most is the morning wrestling show with the best podcast ever. I'm telling you, we got Mark spinning the wrestling hits and we got Paul dropping the comedy relief. But in all fairness, today is the day. It's... <clears throat> It's Can Crusher Day! What the hell was that? Welcome to the morning show, Mark! Well, I don't think we would be a good morning show. We are not morning men. No, we are not morning men. We don't start really talking to each other until after the first break when we get a coffee. Yeah. Well, that's not really true. When when it's me and you together on the back of the truck... Because that's normally on a Tuesday morning, and we got Monday Night Raw to talk about. Right. Well, welcome to Can Crushers. Uh, Mark Martinez alongside Paul Bowlers, two everyday garbage men. Uh, Where the phone rings and throws <laughs> Mark right the hell off. No, we're two everyday garbage men who drink beer and talk about wrestling. Well, Paul, uh, we moved our vehicles. We took a quick time out. Well, um, yeah, and they wouldn't know that because we edited it so that it doesn't look like we skipped a beat. But we're good. But, hey, listen, we had a garbage tip of the week a couple weeks back, probably a couple months back, about how you shouldn't park in the way. And sure enough, we were in the way of the street sweeper, so we moved. We moved. We are uh, good gentlemen. We are good gentlemen. It also helps when the sweep guy uh, has your phone number and says, move your damn vehicle. Right? So, uh, we have a couple big announcements that we really have to put out there. But we won't, let's talk about how the legit badass tournament's going first after... We have cans this week, folks. We legit have cans. Yeah, we do have cans. Uh, Miller Lights, because neither one of us have had time to go to the... Store. St- beer distributor, so... Miller Lights, we like them, we drink them, we drink them heavily. A lot. So, uh, Soup and John, you guys can suck it. We actually have cans today. Suck it! It might have been Pat. Sorry, Soup. But nonetheless. Nonetheless. Uh, a couple first-round matches. We had Vader against Saturn. Vader... It was close, but Vader ended up winning. Uh, we had Haku versus Brian Pillman, and this was not close. The landslide. Haku is, and I, I feel like Haku is going to go far in this tournament. I do, too. Uh, actually, a tag team that broke up, and part of it was Dr. Death against Terry Gordy, and Gordy gets the win. And then we had Wahoo versus Bad News Brown. And Bad News Brown is the winner. And then yesterday's was, we have a little issue with this. I voted for Luthez. Okay. But the English professor goes back and he checks everything. And he said that my vote has switched to Regal. And I didn't do anything. I didn't even know you could switch these, actually. You can. You can unvote and then revote. I have no... You can vote for two people. Did you know that? Yeah, because we have two... Mine and then the Can Crusher one. Right. Yeah. But we don't vote from the Can Crusher one. I vote from my regular one. Right. Um, so, nonetheless, uh, voting ended in Regal 1. It was by one vote. Oh, uh, who do you got up now, Mark? Right now, it is Stan Hansen. Uh, where is his? Stan Hansen versus Antonio Inokio. Inoki. Yeah. Anoki. Uh This one's going to be close. I don't know it, why I put a no at the end of that. Uh, because you... Oh, I'm having spaghetti tonight. Yeah, uh, so that's, that's probably why. It smells like spaghetti in here. Not yet. Bon um, voyage! This, one, this one's going to be close. It really is. Uh, on record, I voted for Stan Hansen. His lariat is amazing. Oh, the best lariat in the business. Yeah, it really is. So, um... Are we going into big news or are we going to wait? We should. This way we can run through Raw and SmackDown because there's not a lot happening on Raw and SmackDown again. No, oh, SmackDown was pretty good. SmackDown busy. was good. I did like SmackDown. Raw kind of put me to sleep. Yeah. That, <laughs> Raw, we're, we're playing with something today too, folks, if you can't tell. Yeah. Raw did kind of You got nothing on there for. The- I do. I, we'll just wait till we get to Raw. Okay. So, uh, I'll let. You want to go first? Yeah, I'll go first. 
So on Monday we were on the garbage route, Tuesday we were on the garbage route, and I got an email from Chris Miller from Chad Miller. Chad, why do I call My him Chris? My God, you are horrible with first I names. I suck at first names. Chad Miller from OVW. And I have to um, put all my promo stuff in, fill out the thing, but I got an invite to the Wrestling Combine on June 1st. Which takes place in Louisville, Kentucky, yep. and we'll be down there to cover it. Um, I did not know, Paul and I have had to talk off off uh, camera, off Mic off screen, whatever the hell I'm trying to say. We weren't on. We weren't on record. record. Yeah, uh, we were I did not know this was going to come up, and this was a shock. And I'm like, awesome, good, good, good for you. And I'm proud. And we're going to put a promo together, and we're going to rock and roll this oh, thing. This is going to be awesome. This is kind of, and this is good for you too, because this is a lot of the field that you're involved in, right? With the promos and stuff like that. So. And like I said, when we started the podcast, anything I can do to help you out, brother, I'm going to do it, and we're going to get, we're going to be awesome. I'm an editing nerd. I like it. So now for the big, big news. It's a really long drum roll. All right. Well, that drum roll was way too long. It has been uh, brought to my attention, and I've also talked to Chad Miller, and I am a. Talent scout, associate scout for OVW for our area. Um, we I will be using the snow scale that has been released to go to wrestling events and uh, more or less judge, evaluate. Evaluate is a better word. Judge is probably pretty wrong. Uh, evaluate scout. talent. Yeah, scout. You're scouting talent. Kind of like a baseball scout or a football scout like the college guys have go out and... This is awesome. This is big news. This is this is huge. I, this is bigger news than I had. This, Mark's news is fantastic news. This is uh, when Chad and I talked, and I, I paced my living room for a while. Just this is where I wanted to go. Yeah, this, is, this, this is everything. This is this is awesome. I don't know. I didn't know how to take it. I told the family. The family was yelling. Told the English professor. He's beside himself. Um, you know, Paul and I. We hugged it out for both of us. Yes. Um, this is. I mean. When we first started doing this podcast, I thought it was just like, all right, we're going to have gonna like, drink beer and talk wrestling. Yeah, we're going to have like 10 or 12 people listen to us, and the nation has spoken, brother. Yeah, they have. Can Crusher Nation is out there, and we're strong, and we love every one of you, and thank you for everything that you do for us. Yeah, I, I, should, have, I, I should say this every week. Um, thank all the new subscribers coming on. Weekly, we're getting new people, and... I would love to and tag to everybody. Old people, like, yeah. I mean, I'd love to tag everybody in Facebook. Hey, you know, Bob Jones, thanks for coming. But it has been ridiculous this last couple of weeks that I can't keep track who's old, and who's new. Even Seth Rollin family in North Dakota when they were in Iowa this week, and Seth Rollins is from Iowa, Des Moines. Des Moines. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. So, uh, as you can tell, we also... Wait. Oh, oh, I can't... We also have a sound machine, and Fat Fingers is the one using it. Yes! <laughs> so, uh... You are welcome, people. We're, we're stepping it up. Uh, big news, we're excited about it. Um, I have to say one thing before we uh, take a break and move on to Raw SmackDown. All this is not possible without one person. And it's Brad Benazuti. Brad, I know you listen each and every week. Dude, I love you. I owe you beers. Uh, we both love you, and we both owe you beers. Yeah, this this has been because you said, hey, I know a guy that has a wrestling thing, da 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 da, da. We've told a story. Um, Brad, you made this connection, and it's blossomed from there. I love Chad Miller. I love Al Snow. I'm talking to him weekly. I really am. So, uh I'm a little kid at a candy store right now. I really am. Snorting pixie sticks. Snorting pixie sticks. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't know where these are going to go, folks. This is the first day that we have this, so uh, please bear with us. But my OVW report is coming up, and I have to do them right, and then uh, we'll be back with her on SmackDown. <laughs> it's time for my OVW report. Guys, OVW 1027. 
oh, a change is going to happen. This is unbelievable. If you haven't watched it, yeah, I'm going to spoil it for you, but you really need to get on YouTube, to get on the OVW Network, which is only $4.99 a month, and watch it. Oh, my God. Holy crap. It's unbelievable. It, it really is. Uh, it starts with a recap of Dimes last week winning the gauntlet, you know, the TV title champion that he is, and just having being the heart of a champion, just being there, defeating week after week after week, winning this gauntlet of five, six, seven, you know, an endless amount of guys. Unbelievable. So um, we start the show with an announcement of Run for the Ropes. It's going to be next Friday, you know, during the whole Kentucky Derby weekend, and that there's going to be a tag team title match. Uh, the tag team title match is actually first. It's King's Ransom against Cash Flow and his mystery partner. And it's Brandon Espinoza. So, um, yeah. Not really a mystery because we've seen him recently. But nonetheless, uh, could King's Ransom prepare for him? Uh, let's see. So, as I said, the tag team titles are on the line. And I love how King's Ransom is wearing them. They're wearing them like uh, diagonally across their chest, uh, over their heart, uh, just showing the pride, more like a gladiator sash or something. They just look good on Ransom. Uh, Cash flow starts with Maximus, and flow is in control, just beating the snot out of Maximus. Uh, Esposito gets tagged in. Espinoza. I keep saying Esposito week after week. Mark, come on, wake the hell up. Espinoza. Um, nonetheless, once Espinoza gets tagged in, Ransom takes over easily. Easily just working over Brandon. Flo gets back into the ring and just chops down Ransom once again. Uh, keeps switching back and forth, back and forth. Espinoza outside. Uh, is actually in the ring, I mean, and he is just set up, set up, and here comes Flo getting ready to come off the top rope, and Ransom kicks Brandon into the ropes, Flo falls on his ding-dong, falls outside the ring, boom, Brandon gets pinned, Flo is pissed off and says, listen, I challenge you guys next week with my real partner. Yeah, I did pick Brandon, but he's not my partner. Nonetheless, and Ransom says, all right, we don't care who you bring. We've beaten everyone. Uh, Next, we have a great setup for a match. It really is. Folks, it does happen, and this is where I say things just get a little bit crazy on OBW 1027. Uh, Dimes gets in the ring and calls out Gun, calls out Smooth, saying, guys, I've beaten everybody in these gauntlets over and over and over. Uh, what it all pans out is, if Dimes wins his TV gauntlet, the last person he'll have to face is Tony Gunn, and Tony Gunn says, winner takes all. My God, this is now a trend in wrestling, winner takes all. Uh, we, we've seen it, but nonetheless... Somebody's going to walk out OBW as heavyweight and TV champion tonight. Unbelievable. Smooth gets involved, but he he's playing like uh, devil's advocate, just stirring the pot. He wants Dimes to win because he knows he can kick his ass pretty easily. Uh, he hates Tony Gunn. I, I don't know. Smooth is just dastardly. We have, or The dastardly count is going to be off the wall today because uh, Smooth just is, I think he's gone a little crazy. I really do. Uh, we have a match, and Callie comes out. Nice nice to be back in OVW. Callie, your OVW Women's Champion. And she's going to sit at ringside as we see a match between Thunder Kitty and Haley Shadows. Kitty is in control for most of the match. Uh, Shadows gets a few moves in, and you're like, wow, this is good. You know, she's been in and around the ring. Uh, I like what she can do. But nonetheless... Uh, some flowers are getting delivered, and Callie just bolts from the broadcast table, thinking they're from her. Callie, come on. Come on, Callie. You're smarter than this. They're not for you. They're for Thunder Kitty. She's 97 years old. She has fans in the grave, apparently. Nonetheless, uh, Callie does find out they're not for her. She drops them in front of Thunder Kitty, and 
Thunder Kitty is just looking for the flowers. Haley rolls her up. One, two, three. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where this is leading. Uh, Thunder Kitty now should be back at the bottom, and Haley should be number one contender. I don't know. I still want Jay Lee back. OBW, come on, hire her back. Call her. Get Jay Lee back. Uh, it's announced next week that Tommy Dreamer will defend his Anarchy title. Damn. Yeah. This is unbelievable. Tommy Dreamer's back to defend this title. Watch out. Uh, <laughs> Colton Cage and Danny head out to the ring. And Danny's just... Uh, she's a trucker tonight. She She's just calling Lily everything under the book. She calls her a slut. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, what? Uh, she said that she's been making, you know, prank phone calls and texts. She's got tracking devices. Sending fake emails. And so... Lily and Dustin come out and say, this is, this is baloney. This is baloney. Danny comes up with this uh, protection order out of nowhere, and she shows it. So Lily gets cuffed. The cop wants to see the protection order, and it's fake. So, boom, Danny gets hauled away, and uh, kind of a little bit of street justice herself. Uh, not the big boot, but street justice herself. And... Danny and Colton are off to jail. Guys, I'm going to run over this quick because the last match is what I want to talk about. So it's a little bit of a spoiler right there. But nonetheless, it is a TV uh, champion winner takes all gauntlet. Lutz against Brandon Wolf. These guys are quick. These guys are really quick. Uh, this needs to be like a spotlight match. Um, just one-on-one. -on -one. You see it on social media matches if you watch it on OBW. But this should be a long, drawn-out feud. These guys are great. Lutz picks up the win because Cove helps him. Uh, next out is Drew Hernandez, but Smooth comes out to the ring with them. I don't know what this is about, and Drew actually came out to Smooth's music. So a uh, little bit of an alliance there? Mm, I don't know. Um, Drew hits a pop-up power bomb on Lutz and gets the win. Next out is Dimes. And this is where Smooth sits down and starts broadcasting. This is where you find out that he's dastardly. And he's rooting for him because he knows that he can beat the snot out of Dimes anytime. Uh, Changemaker helps Dimes move on. And next out is Amon. And Smooth actually gets involved into this. Amon hits the straight to hell on Dimes. And gets the one, the two, and the ref kind of gets bumped or, you know, just gets interfered with. And pops up, dimes, boom, change maker again, Amon gone. Uh, I wish they'd do something more with Amon. I really do. I, I love the whole gimmick. Maybe after, well, wait, let's wait. Uh, so he, he won the gauntlet, more or less. Out comes Tony Gunn. And whoever wins this right now is going to be your winner takes all OBW heavyweight, OBW TV champion. Ah, this is unbelievable. This match was great, guys. It goes back and forth. It really does. Dimes tries for a few roll-ups. Smooth is outside the ring. Uh, Tony Gunn does his best Brock Lesnar uh, by a couple suplex cities. Gunn tries for the kill shot. Smooth stops him saying, hey, you'd kill the poor kid. Don't. So Gunn hits Smooth. Boom, knocks him out, outside the ring. As soon as Gunn turns around, though, change maker out of nowhere! We have a new OVW heavyweight champion, and still TV champion, Dimes. Oh my god, this kid is as big as my son. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable what OVW does. They wrap you up, and they just pull you in week after week. Guys, I don't know why the hell you're not watching it yet. If you are watching it, good. You're completely excited as I am. You just don't know where this is going to go week after week. Chad Miller, Al Snow, and the rest of the writing group at OVW, you guys are amazing. Guys, it's $4.99 a month. Get it. it, it it's unbelievable. I can't wait until the end of May, when the family makes a trek to Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, we're going to take a quick break. You're going to hear Al Snow talking about our favorite brand, Collar and Elbow. Wrestling. A love and a passion we all share. I've started a wrestling brand. The wrestling brand. A brand founded on the aspects of wrestling. Two entities 
working together to create a product that connect emotionally for people everywhere. Collar and Elbow is the brand. Passion and love for wrestling is the drive. I am Al Snow, and this is Collar and Elbow, the wrestling brand. Paul, so Raw starts, and before... Hey, wake up. Hey, Paul. So Raw starts, and before they get Triple H in the ring, they announce both Triple Threat matches that they're going to have. Yeah. And then Triple H says, hey, we're going to have Triple Threat matches. All right, maybe that's for the people in-house that didn't see... No, they always put everything on a Jumbotron. That's a bunch of crap. No, I don't know if the in-house people would have heard that, because the announcers don't... You When you go to a live event, you don't hear the announcers. Yeah, but they, sometimes they put it up on the... Not the Jumbotron, but the, the Civic Arena yeah, one. the spinny Like thing. the hockey one or whatever. But... So they announce the Triple Threat matches, and then Seth comes out and talks, and I thought, oh, this is going to be a nice little skit. No, it turns out to be 45 minutes of... Welcoming everybody that's ever been in a triple threat match before. Right. The first 45 minutes of Raw sucked. Yeah. Outright. And that pissed me off from the get go. Horrible. From the get, I was done with Raw. I wanted nothing to do with it <laughs> because you announced the matches. Drew doesn't have to come out. This one does you know, everybody knows who's in it. I don't want to spend 45 minutes on it, but. And like in between matches, give us like a snippet from Drew or give us a snippet from Miz. And Brian right. Corbin. Like, that's what I want to see. I don't want to see all of them in the ring looking at each other. And they did. Yeah, yeah, and that's basically what happened. Like, a melee didn't start. If it ends in a melee, all right, you did. nothing happens. Three people left the ring because three people stayed in the ring to have the match. Yeah. And it was AJ, Joe, and Ray. It was a good match, Th- though. That AJ was a good and match. Ray put on a good part of the match. Joe, a little bit wonky, uh, you know, I, the speed of Joe. Yeah, the Joe, but the power of Joe is the, also impressive. Right, I, I agree. Um, it the, was a spot fest, though. It was a spot fest, and it was, the way it ended was a mega spot fest. Right. The power bomb from AJ on to Ray, and then a Styles Clash. No, the other way around. The Styles Clash uh, to Ray on to Joe. Yeah. And then he pins Joe. And then he pins Joe. Well, Let me throw you on soup and then do something else on soup. Well, here's the thing. Soup is dead. I don't get... Here's what I don't get, though. Joe is your champ. Your U.S. champ. Pin Ray. Right. But it gets... Joe and Ray are going to have another feud because that really never ended, that one-minute match at Mania. No, that uh, that was for mostly Joe and... Because Ray was hurt. Yeah, and we and we everybody knows that, and everybody knows that, hey, everybody knows that. But uh, once AJ wins, um, writing's on the wall. Then you know AJ Seth right off the bat. I knew whoever wins the second one later on. I thought they're they're putting this up. They need a big match for this Money in the Bank. I mean, the Money in the Bank matches itself are great, but they need a big title match because well, I didn't know what's going on with Kofi. Nobody knows what's going on with Kofi right. yet. More of that in a minute. More of that in a minute. Uh, Naomi gets Billy K, and I was actually I Naomi wins. I didn't get to see the whole match. I was talking to Eric Shea about what's going on with Asylum and everything. That's on the cusp. We will release that when we kin. Yeah, I know we what's know going more, on. Yeah, we know a lot, but we don't have details. Every, all the ducks in a row. Right. So uh, we will get Eric back on when everything is good to go, and so that's a good. Um, it's nice to see Naomi win. It really is. Uh, they're this ba- is two weeks in a row. They're burying the Iconics. Single oh, ad. Singly, though. Singly, yes. So, whatever. Uh, on to the next match. It's Corbin, Miz, and Drew. Uh, I would have liked to see Miz win. Who wouldn't have liked to see Miz win? And, you know, as much as I complain about triple threat matches, I would have liked to see Miz win and then AJ versus Miz and have that be... Like, and then a draw. And yeah. they both get it for a triple threat against Rollins. Right. That would have been a fantastic match. That event. would be a That fan. would have been a WrestleMania-worthy triple threat match. They they do not want Drew losing, though. No, you can't you can't beat Drew right now because he's the powerhouse right now. Right. Um, he's the only powerhouse on Raw. Yeah, no no Braun on either show. No. 
So we don't know what's up with Braun. Maybe just some time off. He's been busy. So. Yeah. Um, looking felt. He's actually. looking felt. He cut some weight. Man. And he's got a case, not six pack. He's yeah. got a case under it. He's a literally a beast. Sami Zayn is a dancing machine. He <laughs> just comes out and he just is dancing. Like he's blown up by the time he gets to the ring. He's every tired. week. Yeah, well, sucking wind. It's like me and you running after a garbage Ugh. in a windstorm. Oh, that's horrible! In the rain. In the rain. Uphill. Both, Both ways. ways. Jinx. Jeez. Um. So we got to see his vacation pictures this week, which was nice. Yeah, I'm good. I would like. Way, there's no way Sami Zayn went on a 200 mile walk or whatever it was because no, he wouldn't have that gut. The, the dude is chubby. He is chubby. Um. I love this Sami Zayn though, Paul. I do love this Sami Zayn. He builds up, builds up, builds up, and he's like... But the fans are feeding into it week after... I mean, week after week, they're, yeah, yeah, whoa! That's Becky's, nonetheless. Uh, Same thing. Right, it's the same thing. And they just keep falling for it. Uh, They're they're allowing themselves to fall for it, and that's what I love. Right, and that's part of the gimmick, and I love it. Yeah. Um, But everybody can take a trip. Yeah. And go to hell. I I don't know what he's doing with that go to hell thing, but I love it. Who did anybody come out? Yes, yeah, somebody came out right as Sami Zayn was. Like, oh, this was Cedric. Uh, yeah, Cedric Alexander. Alexander's first the match. So was, yeah. Were you going to say the Entertainer? Yes, I was actually going to say Cedric the Entertainer because I suck at names. I know, I know. Um, this was his first match uh, against the now shifted over because the shakeup is now two weeks in a row. Because right. Every, politics. It would, would a lot of this broke down to politics. Yes, we'll get to it in a minute. But um, so Cesaro is now on Raw, and Sheamus is injured, so he's off. So the bar is so gone. is the bar done? Done, or I, is this going to be when Sheamus returns, he's back? I don't on know. Raw. I, I hope they give Cesaro the push that we've all wanted for years, for years, years. The John Cena, I a hundred percent guarantee. Buried put a, him. Put an end to. Yeah. Uh, and Cesaro gets the push. Yeah. He wins over... I thought they were going to give it to Cedric. I really did because Cesaro can lose and it doesn't do anything against him. Right. He's that hype. Um, what do you do with Cedric, though? I mean, Cesaro's a, a talent, but... The same thing that they're going to do with Ali on SmackDown. Just get buried. Yeah. They'll beat me and you, but they're not going to beat anybody above them. Nope, not yet. they got to put in their... Time. I've always liked Cedric, too. Cedric actually did a super indie a few years back before he went to NXT and this, that, and 205 and everything. He's great. He's a talent. He does a lot of good stuff, and he did it at IWC. But I don't think he's caught on in WWE yet. Not Even as the 205 champ and everything. That's that's not 100% his fault. We can blame a lot of this on shitty writing. Right. I agree. So the Usos are in the back naming all their competition and the Revival steps up and there's a little bit of heat and yeah, yeah. So we have another new name change. Yeah. And it's a little, it's better. So we're going from the Viking experience to the Viking Raiders. Right. It's not any better. Let's call them the damn War Raiders and be yeah. done with it. The whole war incident is just bad. Well, I, it's stupid. Or just, or just call them the Vikings. Or call them the Raiders. I'd be okay with that. I, uh, what, together, it's Minnesota against Oakland. That's all I think about. <laughs> it's horrible. Um, and they just, there's no match. They just destroy Lucha House Party. There are, they are now the Schloads of Raw. I can't wait. Until they face the machine. Oh, boy. Yes, we need some heavy machinery. Stakes and weights, baby! Stakes and weights! I'm sorry. That just blew your eardrums out, I'm sure. I'm not sorry. I'm excited. Uh, Hawkins and Ryder in the back, and they're not scared of the Raiders. I hope everybody just calls them the Raiders, by the way. Right. Um, That's what we'll, we'll end up just calling them. They were also, off subject a minute, uh, they also were going to be called the Berserkers. Remember Berserker from the mid-80s? Yeah. They were going to call them the Berserkers, and yeah, that didn't work for him. But it's not going to work for them. No. War Raiders. Uh, Becky Two Belts comes out, and she's facing a returning Foxy. Oh, Alicia Fox is back. She sucks. She's, yeah. 
Like, I don't... How does she continue to have a job? She's from the diva air, and it shows. Yeah. And Becky, before she has the match, talks about pretty much how, uh, without saying Vince's name, Vince likes bleach blondes with uh, big, big boobs. Big boobs. He's not wrong. She's look not at wrong. Your, look at your uh, matches for Becky Yep. so far at uh, Money in the Bank. Yeah. Uh, we have... Spoiler alert, Becky's going to have two matches at Money in the Bank. One. Oh, yeah. Well, the, we could have just talked about the first one right now because it was announced on Raw. Yeah, against Lacey Evans. Yep. Because... Who has what? Blonde hair and big boobs. Yeah. And the woman's and right. And a powerful... And a, yeah, woman's right. The woman's right. Ugh. I liked her on NXT. I'm gonna agree. I still like her now. No, I can't... I, she pissed me off just walking around for six months. She was just waving and letting you know she was there. Yeah. Like a distinguished lady would. <sighs> Corbin says stuff to AJ that he marks out that he's coming for the the championship because Corbin won. Da, 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 da. I did. Yeah, it was, yeah, I checked out. Once Corbin won, I checked out. It was, knew it was legit. Like, writing on the wall was AJ's win in this match. Yeah. Because they're not pushing Corbin. Corbin's just the guy they push to lose. So Ricochet, and he's going to face Robert Roode. Why are why just Ricochet? Because Alistair Black also is, got shipped back to SmackDown. So they split that up, which is awesome. I'm it's I'm happy wanted. about that. I am happy about that because I want to see Ricochet doing better things. Than he's a being, singles wrestler being wasted in a tag team. Yeah, he's a and singles wrestler. Not that Alistair Black and him weren't a great tag team; they were fun to watch, right? But in the same sense, they're they're better both better on their singles. Own. Yeah, um, Rude gets the win though. Robert Robert Rude with the porn stash. Oh. Oh yeah, we we said boobs. So was we it want... porn stash or was it queen stash? Oh, it, Freddie Mercury stash. Yeah, nice. Uh, then comes up the Firefly Funhouse, and I this is Blues Clues. Pee Wee, no Pee Wee's Playhouse. Yeah, but if you look at his ensemble, it's very Blues Clues ish. It is, but meets Pee Wee's Funhouse. The word of the day on is LSD. what. Loved it. The word of the day is what? No. Yes. I, it was fantastic. This is what we wanted, Mark. This is what we wanted. Gimmicks. It is a gimmick. I'm, I'm not getting you wrong. I just want to know where they're going with it. Is he what? Is he a demented bad? Is he demented good? Is he in the realm of maybe like he's just crazy? That doink the clown that will fans love him, Haunt but he does dastardly dreams. Dastardly. 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 <laughs> Dastardly things. Do you have that? Sound? No, I don't have the mirror hair sun. Oh, all right. Um, I got a golf clap if you want that. No, you can do it after this one. Okay. AJ against Corbin. Uh, Corbin's in the main event, and I lose focus. AJ wins. You might have to get closer on some of these to the mic, Bucko. I might. They're on there. You'll I see hear them. them. You can hear them. We can hear you whisper into the phone. Hold on. Hold on. That Sean. was probably the creepiest thing that they. Halfway through the beginning of the podcast, they're going to be like, what the hell am I holding on to? Loosely. <laughs> and don't let go. Uh, so AJ wins. It's AJ Seth against uh, Money no, in the Bank. No, it's AJ versus Seth. That's what I said. AJ Seth. Again, you said AJ Seth against Whatever. Money in the Bank. Whatever. That shit uh, they, sh- about. they shake hands and there's respect for the So night. Money in the Bank Raw right now, if you picking a group of guys to be in the match, who do you got? What are you talking? Oh, uh, Miz, Ricochet. Are we going with six or so three? Um, you have, to have, you a have big guy. Miz and Ricochet is all you have right now. I know, but I'm going to say I, you, you should have a big guy as well. Miz, maybe Otis, Ricochet, and Otis. No, Otis isn't going to be there. McIntyre, why not, buddy? McIntyre, Lashley, Corbin, and now you need one more face. Well, you're not getting. It, I think it's going to be combined one. You're not getting two. Are you sure? I'm sure you're not getting two money in the banks. Oh well, then maybe. you're getting the guys and the girls. And last year, both Raw or both SmackDown people won. Yeah, so you're going to get. So you'll one. Have, you'll probably have a, both a Raw winning this year or a Raw winning and a SmackDown winning. So so you got Miz, Miz Ricochet, uh, Drew, McIntyre. Drew. It, you have to. There's your big guy. Yeah. So, on the other end of that... We're shifting to SmackDown. Now we're going to SmackDown. And we'll just stay with that Because right now. SmackDown was fantastic. SmackDown was I fantastic. I loved SmackDown. Shane's starting to show, though, 
<laughs> Shane always starts a show. I know. And thank God that uh, Greg Wonderly, no, Greg Hamilton, only had to say best in the world one time. Yes. I'm getting sick and tired of that. Shit. And it's not like they're going to actually bring the best in the world to prove that he's the best in the world. Did you see he did a run-in over the weekend, though? Was it him? Yes. I, I'm going to, yes. Do we know? Yeah. For sure. My tattoo said it was him. He, it was ma- he was masked. Same hoodie? Mask. They only make one hoodie that looks like CM Punk's one that he was wearing. No, they don't. They yep. make tons of them. Millions? And millions! Uh, of CM Punk fans want it to be him, but... I mean, he's, he's probably about time he gets a paycheck, so he might have done that. It's an indie show, you know? But if still, anywhere, I'm telling you, I bet you he shows up at AEW at some point. Eh. I'm telling you. Um, he's talking about Roman, and he's got all these options he's going to get Roman. Nobody ever puts their hands on a 70-year-old man, especially a dad, when two weeks prior... More than that. Three weeks prior... Maybe four. four weeks prior... Batista beat the shit out of him. Oh, Ric Flair, but I wasn't talking about that. Oh, okay. He grabbed a hold of the Miz's dad. Right? I so wasn't the, going to that one, but He right. was, like, very hypocritical, and I didn't like that. Oh. Um, I was upset about that. Do you know the Miz uh, plays fantasy football, and their title is actually, he's got a picture of his dad. Really? It's called the George. They play to win the George each week. No kidding. I watched Miz and Mrs. last night. Nice. I'm a child. Um, out comes Elias, and Shane and uh, Elias beat the shit out of Roman. Put the boots to him. I love this, what they're doing with Elias. Granted, it's against Roman. And Elias is going to take the loss at some point, but... but this is, might be a push. They're this giving him a push. This could be the bigger things. Um, than just being the best entertainer, musical entertainer in wrestling today. Did you see the little kid in the front row dressed up as the Ultimate Warrior? His I did dad not. was holding him. No, I missed it. Front freaking row. He had the hair. He had, I don't know if it was face paint or like a mask that you have, but uh, a mask he was. That I have to lift in. That's often. my powerlifting mask. It was amazing. This kid was epic. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, that's my thing. Uh, so Kofi talks about facing Shinsuke tonight. He loves the universe. The universe loves him. Big O comes out shucking and jiving. And I'm loving what they're doing with this. I'm loving what they're doing with this. More on that later. Uh, Finn you just ver- hushed me, basically. You finger hushed I did, me. because you were going to. No, I wasn't. Finn versus Almas, which Almas is back now on... Why is Holmes back on SmackDown? Because Fox says they want Latino people on SmackDown. And Vega goes to SmackDown, so you guess who else that brings? Vega's husband, Alistair Black. Alistair Black, yeah. Almas with Charlotte. Like we said earlier, it's very political what happened. Yeah, very. So. They wanted Almas and Vega. Yeah. But Vega's like, well, then I want, if Charlotte's going to get her away, more or less. Yeah. So, which I'm all right with. I'm all right with. Now let's talk about the Finn and Almas match. Epic. I Very love great, the match. Great match. I, I'm, not, I'm not really a huge Finn fan. I like him. But I mean, I, I was pulling for Almas. I was like, man, this is good work. I don't want to see this match end. Okay, so I want to see this last more than a couple weeks. Well, they said last night, as soon as Finn won, that puts the end of that. It's one to one. What? So everything ends in a tie? No, I want to see this last a couple weeks. I don't want to see the belt flip flop. No, but I want to see Finn have matches against other people, almost attack, interrupt, and then Finn gets pissed off and does the same thing, or at least not attack, just stand on the yeah and smile because that's all he needs to do. Yeah, I want to see this go for a little bit, and then maybe at a at a well money pay per view. Money in the bank is four weeks away. Yeah. I mean, this is the dead... I mean, we're, we got dead time now. There's many weeks in between things uh, and good things until sma- uh, SummerSlam. Legit. Like, Money in the Bank's a good pay-per-view, but you get some rough ones. We're going to have another Crown Jewel. We're going to have another... Bleh. They canceled Backlash because it was going to happen the week after Crown Jewel. And that sounds bad. Yeah. You know, you're over in Saudi Arabia. Oh, there's backlash following right after. Oh, oh, my. oh step back. Oh, my God. Don't say war in Saudi Arabia. Jeepers creepers. Um, it's getting too much. Yeah. So Finn wins with the Coupe de Grace. Coupe de Grace. It's not yeah. the Coupe de Gras no it, more? It is the Coupe de Gras. I'm just being an idiot. Um, Elias is singing backstage, and he sings a little song to challenge Roman. Oh. And then him and Shane jump in the old limousine and take off. It's time to beat feet. Another side note. 
I know it's been out there for months now, but it really got to me last night. I love the Snickers commercial with Rusev and Lana running through Dollar General. That's me and Kelly. <laughs> I believe it that. really is. That's Kelly's like, every, don't be an asshole. That's me every time I go to a Toys R Us. Ask Teresa. They're closed, Paul. Well, they yeah they weren't though. I know. I and know. I was a kid. running I'm a through giant the store, kicking yeah. balls, throwing stuff around. Yeah, I, we're idiots. Um, so Kyrie San. Son, Son, Kyrie, Kyrie, and Kyrie, Kyrie with Paige and Oscar going to take on Peyton Royce with Billy, Peyton and Billy. Yeah, there's no Royce anymore. No, <laughs> we're dropping everything. No one, one name. Yep. It looked really weird the other day when they had Roman versus Elias on because it said Roman Reigns in big letters, Roman what? Little, and then Elias. That's I think that's why they do it. The, they're editing. editing. They're it's editing all for is, editing and yeah. shtick. Yeah, it's easy. I, I completely agree with that. So Absolution meets uh, Paige backstage, which we call the Golden Gloves. The, yeah, the Golden Gloves. And they said, hey, if you, you're dying. When this all backfires in your face, don't come a-calling. Yeah. I call them Sainska, actually. Sainska? Yeah, I don't have a name for them yet. Like, the, the Jumping Bomb Angels was great. I really wanted to call them the Oriental Express, but I think that would be racist? Well, there was an Oriental Express back in the day. Yeah, see that? So it's not that bad. So it's a new Oriental Express. Yeah. My God. No, n- nothing there. Boo! Thank you. Um, Saying gets a win. It was a squash match. Yeah, it squash. really was. Uh, Jinder! Jinder's back. I didn't know he was even gone. He was gone for a little bit. I was trying to think of what he says, but I can't remember. Shantae. Shantae. Yeah. Uh, Was he he back? Because Lars Sullivan just demolished him. And Gable. But then... What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Our truth comes out. Wanted to have a seven second dance break with Lars, and Lars was not dancing. Not having it. Not a a bebopper. Uh, So Charlotte's in the back. Dancing in public gives him anxiety. Yeah, anything. Walking in public gives him anxiety. Charlotte's in the back talking about, um, not in the back, she's in the ring, in the match, about the WrestleMania 35 match. My God, stutterish. Um, and she's just salty about losing. She's salty. You know, why Why do you have my title? Well, Charlotte, you lost. She didn't lose. I'm, I'm playing the heel for a minute. She really didn't lose, but you signed the contract of you all knew in. what was going to happen. Yeah, everything happened in all in. And nobody beats Becky two belts. Right. And here comes Bex. Says, hey, idiot, you signed a winner-take-all contract. Yeah, that's why you lost. And then she says the damnedest, bestest, damnedest, goodest thing I've heard. And she's like, you're holding people like Mickey, Bailey, and Ember back. Yes. And she is. She is. You're an eight-time... Champion. You've been in the company for how many years? Right. How Step many years was back. she in the company? I don't know. Look it up. And document. she's already an eight-time champion? Well, there are some she people had that five been... in like three months. Boop, 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 when her and Sasha were trading them off. There's some people that haven't even been a champion yet who's been in the company for ten plus. Right. Right. Flair, you, you're good. We know that. I, I respect you. You're a great wrestler. This said, step back a little bit. And that's on her. Yeah. It really it's on her well, and the writers. Too. You're right. Blonde with big boobs. Right. Um, I love what Becky said. And I think everybody's going to rally around this. So Bailey comes out and she's like, yeah. Yeah, take a step back. And Bailey's. I, th- I thought for sure when they made this match, Bailey versus Charlotte, you, you knew that what I Bailey was doing. was getting pushed. And I'm like, this is fantastic. Mark's going to be running around like an idiot tomorrow. Finally. I was going to text you right then when it happened. Right? So, I don't know. Bailey loses. Yeah. Then that pisses me off. I was mad. And But it was a great match. It was, it good. was a great match. Like I said, this was the best SmackDown in forever. Yeah. I like that Bailey says, uh, you've beaten her, you've beaten this one, you've beaten Becky, you haven't beaten me. Well, because they haven't had a freaking time to fight. They haven't had a match. Right. Because no, nobody lets it happen. Right. And that's the same with Ember Moon. Like, Ember Moon deserves a title shot. I agree. I agree. Um, so afterwards, after the break, uh, Beck says she's going to defend a title, both titles, on Money and Bank. One against Charlotte, one that's against Lacey. My predictions in are ready. 
She's not losing these matches. No. Not the first time that she's going to do this. I don't no. think so. If she does, her whole championship is a debacle then. The, if you look at why it. Why do it? Right. Why give her both if she's not going to defend it at least let once? Let her run with it for a while. Right. I agree. Please let, him run, let her run with it for a while. I love this. She is the women's stone cold of this generation, and I love that. Yeah, she is. The only thing that could make this better is if she started feuding with... Stephanie, if Stephanie would get involved somehow and try to make the push happen, that's a that's a complete Stone Cold Ste- uh, Vince ripoff. Then, but I, yeah, but is it to it's, a point? Because you could do so much more with girls than you can with Stone Cold. Mm. Wow, well, where's the crickets mind now? Out of the gutter, where's, buddy. Where's the toilet flush? Get your mind out of the. So we get the. This is they play the same. Firefly Funhouse thing again. And this time, they show the crowd. And I think this was bad camera work. Communication guy in me is looking back and I'm like, the crowd hates this. You know, they're showing it, they pan to the crowd, and the crowd's just standing there like, what? Well, you what already the- seen it. Right. If you're going to do it, do it on... Do a different one. Right. And why is he both on Raw and SmackDown? I don't know. Where's he going? Well, you... <laughs> right? So now we're at our main event. Kofi against Shinsuke. And Big O brings out New Day again. And I'm like, God, man. Oh, uh, yeah! Big O. All right, let's just run to the match. Da, 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 da. Well, this was actually a really good match. It was a good match as well. Kofi hit some stuff. Shinsuke was in control of the match a lot. And then Kofi's about to win the match. And in comes Rusev. Day looking dapper too. Look at da- that handsome. Yes, handsome, handsome. Um, and then it gets ruined. So it gets ruined. Uh, they, big Big O comes in and helps for a little bit. Kofi uh, Woods comes in and helps a little bit. All the bad guys are out of the ring now. It's just so Woods is Woods is on the outside of the A ring, and he gets the Kinshasa. Out cold, and then Owens gets involved, hammers on him, gets in the ring, attacks Rusev. Gone. And, yeah, he's out of the ring. They're standing there side to side, Kofi and Big O, and Big O doesn't see Shinsuke coming, so Kofi throws him out of the way, hits Shinsuke with a trouble in paradise, and then all of a sudden... Super kick. Wait, that sounded like Dolph Ziggler was coming. No. I, that was Dolph Ziggler's scratch. That was Dolph Ziggler's scratch, but the music stopped for the big O. Yeah. It's now the Kevin Owens show. Um, Fantastic. I'm, I, well, this was freaking amazing. I am excited about it. This is where I want... We knew it was going there, but we have four weeks until Money in the Bank. You Take could, this two more weeks, Yeah, and then you have two weeks of heat... To build up, because this is a match already. It's going to be booked next week. For the love of Pete, it's going to be booked. You could play this for two more weeks and let him do something stupid. Like, accidentally clothesline him. And then, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Not that I don't have to touch you now, but I am anyway. Because I'm excited about this. I like it. I do. But they could have extended this fun fun time. They should have slow played it. Yeah, slower storylines is what they need. This was one that we were getting behind. Everybody loved it. Right. And then, boom. Quick. But it was instantly he turned. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like that. Four, right. you, four weeks to play it up, this, that, and the other. Um, Whatever. But it was great. Smackdown. This is probably the first time in a long time that I love Smackdown. I stayed up the whole time I watched Smackdown. I always stay up. I don't I'm always excited stay. to stay up for Smackdown. I don't always stay hours. up for either of them because like, I can tell in the first 45 minutes... Whether it's going to be a good show or a bad show. Well, that's that's the opening segment for Raw. Right. And you knew that it was going to be a bad show after that. Shitty show. Shitty show. All right, guess who's up? Guess who's up? I think it's the English professor. It is. Time to get your books ready. Go to class. The first Stone Cold Steve Austin Jack's bone-crunching figure was nearly impossible to find when it hit stores. I searched the shelves of Toys R Us with no luck. A fellow 20-something-year-old guy whom I hadn't seen standing next to me said, I can't find Austin anywhere. I've been at three stores already. How did he know I was also looking for Stone Cold? 
That's because anyone who was looking at the pegs for that long had to be looking for Stone Cold. Any serious wrestling figure collector at the time had the rest of the series. Last year, the Pittsburgh Pirates hosted a countywide baseball clinic for area youth baseball teams. Along with a day on the field learning some basics from coaches and players, each kid also received two free game tickets. The clinic was absolutely free and there were no strings attached. I stood on one of the lines with my son as we awaited some free merchandise. The boys talked about boy stuff, and eventually the conversation turned to pro wrestling. One of them mentioned an NXT match in which a girl reversed a sleeper into a pin by kicking herself off of the top rope. I said, that's how Bret Hart beat Roddy Piper. And the other dad finished my sentence with, at WrestleMania 8. We smiled and nodded at each other. It was an understanding that we had shared a common youth experience that we were now sharing with our kids. We can crushers will sometimes goof on wrestling fan stereotypes. Mark has been known to even get downright personal. But in our hearts, we know there's something special about wrestling fans. We are the descendants of those who watched Roman gladiators battle lions, as well as the successors of those who attended Shakespeare's premieres and booed his villains, clapped for his heroes, and cheered his special effects. Wrestling fans have little need for today's technology to express our opinions. Why write a Google review for a movie you hate and run the risk of the movie makers never reading your words when you have the instant gratification of booing a wrestler whom you feel has given less than 100%? And that immediate review will give the wrestler food for thought. Despite our uncouth behaviors, there are no sports fans who are as peaceful as wrestling fans. Though there is no rivalry between Pittsburgh and New York teams, I've been made to feel less than welcome at Pittsburgh sporting events as I supported my hometown New York teams even having had things thrown at me and having been threatened with physical violence. Perhaps I'm in the minority or I haven't gone to enough wrestling matches, but I've never witnessed a fight at a pro wrestling card because two fans cheered for different combatants. Mark's favorite team is the Rock and Roll Express. My favorite tag team is the Midnight Express. Wrestling was our introduction to one another, and this important fact was out in the open pretty early in our relationships. And yet, here we both are 30 years later, bro. In today's English Tip of the Week, we will discuss the difference between it's, I-T apostrophe S, and it's, I-T-S. It's, I-T apostrophe S, is a conjunction combining the words it and is. It's, I-T-S, is a possessive pronoun. You should use I-T apostrophe S whenever you wish to combine the words it and is. You should use I-T-S when you're trying to show an object's possession of something. The easiest way to remember the difference is if you're not combining it and is, then use ITS. Here are some examples of each. Whether you like it or you don't like it, learn to love it because it's the best thing going today. Which it's did the nature boy use? IT apostrophe S or ITS? Answer, IT apostrophe S. When we look at, it's the best thing going today. We're saying, it is the best thing going today. Let's take a look at when Jake's Cobra bit into the macho man's arm. The snake is sinking his teeth into the macho man. Would we use... I-T apostrophe S or I-T-S. The snake is sinking its teeth into the macho man. If we try to say it is, the sentence makes no sense. The snake is sinking in his teeth into the macho man. Since it makes no sense, and we're talking about the possession of the snake, the correct answer is I-T-S. In another example, Jim Ross yells, My God, it's Stone Cold! Is IT apostrophe S correct? Or is it ITS? Does it is Stone Cold make sense? Yes, it does. It is Stone Cold. So the answer is IT apostrophe S. And with that, class, you're dismissed. It's favorite part of the show.
Oh, you see I, what see I, you over there? I see what you're saying. I'm just going to give you a healthy nod. Yeah, healthy nod, so they can see. You're that. a wrestling fan. Um, I am a wrestling fan. How did you know? Did you, did you ever know that the English professor was wrestling you one? No, this is the first time I've heard this story. Oh my god! I, I can't wait to talk to him about it. Oh, I'm sure he'll tell you. A couple speaking, times. Speaking of talking to people, guess who else I seen over the weekend? Nick Galbo. No. I, Robin Stahl. Oh my goodness. I, I seen him at his son's bowling party. Oh yeah! You would tell you what I seen him and he was doing the bowling and it was fantastic. Mr. Lapino. Yes I did. We don't have a name for him because all his names are... Rated X. Rated X. Oh my goodness. The Rated X Lapino. Well, yeah, I like that. There it is. There it is. Oh, now he's got well, a name. Welcome to Can Crushers <laughs> for real, Lapino. Rated X Lapino. And we talked about it. And this is before I talked to you. So I said to him, I said, Mark, or I said, Pat, Pat um, Mark's going down there in like two weeks, three weeks, and. The end of May. The end of May. Four weeks, five weeks then. I don't know. 20, He's going down there soon. 29 days. Callie will tell you. And I said, I have this feeling that they're going to offer him a job with the company because he is pretty into it. And he's like, really? You think? And I said, this is right up Mark's field. This is going to be fantastic for him. And then cut back to Monday. When oh, Tuesday. yeah! Tuesday. <laughs> I mean, he was probably out there snapping into a Slim Jimmy. He was so happy. He is. Uh, I actually have not talked to him since. Oh, really? Yeah, he's uh, he works a stupid shift. Well, who doesn't work stupid shifts? But he really like works a stupid shift. Five to one shift. is a dumb shift. Hey, Mark, you want to go through our stick? Nope. Why? I don't know. You know, I'm really disappointed. We have a couple in here. I thought you were going to be like just pushing buttons today. No, I didn't want to. I mean, like, I don't want to overdo it. And there's not, this one isn't a great soundboard. This is not that great. I got to download another one. But I figured this one would help because I wanted to do the radio thing for our introduction today. Like I was listening to the radio this morning and I'm like, God, there's always that morning radio host that's so freaking happy. And I'm yeah, and and Paul is a freak. And I'm like, he is. I'm a bear. Butterflies. I'm a bear. Butterflies and rainbows out of this guy. You know who we did see, by the way? Let's, before we do our shtick, we saw uh, probably one of our dearest, closest friends. We love him. And can you remember what he said about the big maple oak tree? And that's why we named uh, the podcast what we named it today. Yeah. He said the big oak once started as a nut that stood his ground. Okay. That's why it's called the big maple today. Do you call it the Big Maple? Because it's supposed to be the Oak. Maybe, I don't know. I can edit that. It'll probably be the Big Oak. Yeah, it's supposed to be the Big... The Mighty Oak... Was Mighty the, Oak! That's... Well, I'll, I'll change it all together. The Mighty Oak was once started as a nut that stood his ground. And thank you, Dom, for your kind words. And even the Facebook post. Yeah, thank you. We love you, Dom. We do love you. We, uh... You don't know how much. And uh, we say it every time because now it's from the desk of Dom. Pat it is. Now. 30 years, bro. And not from the pizza chop, but... You'll always be dumb, and this town is so lucky to have a guy like you, and we love you. <laughs> Woo! Ryan! <laughs> oh, <my> God! <laughs> I don't have any sad sounds for this! Pro Printing and Office, 814-834-3006. <coughs> Coffin, that one was Paul. Sorry. David will hook you up with all your graphic needs. Collar and elbow, hats, hoodies, tees, sweatshirts, jackets, anything your little wrestling heart can desire. This is a wrestling store for wrestlers, for wrestling fans. Pretty much the awesomest place I've ever seen. When you check out of your thing, OVW for t- check out of your order, OVW for 10% off. Sorry, my football team is a bunch of girls that love to text. Powder Puff. They are Powder Puffs. The, we're going to change our name from the Mountain Lions to the Powder Puffs next year. So you're back at it again this week. Uh, you had the week off last week, and we, uh, I'm going to say we, we, we put we, together a... Yeah, thank you so much for your help. We sold 340 dinner, 358 dinners. It was 360 we cooked all together. We ate some. We, yeah, we ate some. We, you guys like us can't just not drink beer and work all day. We got to eat. Well, we're supposed to eat. Yeah. Is the thing. We have Mama we, Mama Grace making sure that we are eating. We probably should do a little more water intake, too. We, we had a lot of water intake, for the love of God. Well, we had water through osmosis, but that doesn't count as drinking water, bud. You can find us at Facebook and Instagram. It's at CanCrusher69. Gmail, CanCrusher69 at gmail.com. 
website, https colon backsplash backsplash can crushers. 69.wixsite.com backslash can crushers. Uh, doing some more work on that, trying to promote it. I got some things in the in the hopper for that. But you can listen to us on the Wrestle Post app, downloadable for every phone. Also on Alexa Boxcast, Overcast, Bullhorn, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, Buzzsprout, iTunes, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, and Spotify, which in time we're going to have an add-on. It's going to be uh, probably a couple months down the line, but we are going to get an ad on Spotify. How do you like that? I loved it. That was so good. Um, I will need you and the English professor to uh, be in attendance so we can put it together at one time compared to bit and piece and uh, this together. I hate your football team right now. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know why they're <laughs> talking so much. Teresa just asked me what the address to our game is this week, and it's on my Facebook page. Like It's a big banner. I've, I've posted it a million times. So you're not home. No, we're not at home. We're in Phillipsburg this week. There it so is. So if anybody's in Phillipsburg, <laughs> Pennsylvania, 5 o'clock kickoff against the Moshannon Valley Vikings. I'm sorry that we're doing this. We're all over the place right now with our stick. Well, yeah. Uh, we, before I announce one more thing. Uh, Holy, I'm turning the Blog sound Talk off. Radio every Thursday night from 7 to 8. You can call in and we can talk wrestling and Paul will give you the phone number. 563-999-3462. What is it? Five six three nine 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 three four six two. For the love of God. Five six three nine nine three four six two. So I am taking the day off of work on Friday because I am heading to Concord, North Carolina for the Crockett Cup. Will you give me some grapes? I will get you some grapes if they're in season down there. Because I'm sure that Monday when you come back and it's raining, you'll be doing the wine. Ooh! I don't have it, but I'm why? Oh my God, you suck at this board. We need to. <laughs> That's just a symbol. Yeah. Um, <laughs> nonetheless. Uh... Oh wait. It's called rim shot. I could have been hitting this the whole time. I didn't know. Yeah, rim shot. Uh, this is a bad podcast, by the way. This is great. Um, a big events going on down at the Crockett Cup. It's the return. Of it, you're going to see teams like the Briscoes, the Rock and Roll Express, uh, the War Kings. Uh, Jack Dane and I are going to try to have maybe a beverage or so afterwards. Get it! So I don't know how the ride is is going to be Sunday when I come home, but nonetheless, it's also available on pay per view, guys. Uh, on the Fight TV app, uh, I think it's 25 bucks if yeah. you want to watch Wait, it. Wait, Fight, it's F-I-T-E, right? F-I-T-E. Yeah, Fight yeah. TV app. So, um, check there, it out. There's uh, more. Imagine Pro Wrestling Volume 2 in Altoona. There is. Uh, May 18th. D'Lo Brown is going to be there. Uh, we have a couple people going down with me. Um, you have a football game probably, right? Yeah, dude, yeah. I'm, I'm booked. So I know Solid. myself, the English professor, and Colin are going. So we're going to head to that. Um, May 10th, we have, uh, From the Ashes, the Sean Phoenix Benefit. And Lamont Furnace, PA. Yep. All, bro- all proceeds to benefit Sean Phoenix. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're starting to pop up some matches and everything, and we'll slowly get them on. But if you want to order tickets, you can head over to our website, and we'll send you right over to that. So... Yeah. Um, I just broke a snus. I'm pissed about it. Yeah, see, that's why. Girl, fresh one. Girly snuffs. Hey, it's appetizing. They are appetizing. They're Deliciously good. refreshing. They're nice and all. Not that you should chew. It's bad for you. And I'm trying to quit someday, but not today. They are a good alternative to regular snuff. With a wedding a podcast, a football team that I'm kind of... A wrestling tryout. A wrestling tryout. A football team I coach. I'm a little stressed, a little viclamped over here. A little what? A little viclamped, talk amongst yourself. For- I'll, give you, I'll give you a topic. Wrestling in the 90s. Go, 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 go. go. The Repo Man. <laughs> um, guys, watch uh, Facebook this week. I'm going to pop in with some live updates of what's going on. Ooh, Facebook Live from Marky Mark. Facebook Live this week. Uh, we have a, as of right now, we have a spotlight set up for this Friday. It is with Sean Phoenix to talk about this benefit. Uh, we're we hope. Ho- we're hoping everything goes as planned. Uh, he's got a busy schedule. I've given him a time that if he doesn't show up, uh, I, it's just, that's I'm booked ass to ass. 
Why? I'm how an do you, ass man. Do you have two asses? I don't know. I, it's it's one of those shows. Play the music, Mark. What music? Garbage, 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 garbage. Garbage tip of the week, Mark. What do you got for us? I completely forgot about even this. I was ready to say, "Remember, Paul, you're trash." Oh my God! You forgot about the garbage tip of the week. Well, I mean, I guess we go with old reliable. Bag um, your shit. Well, no, <laughs> actually, today I dumped a can and it was full of broken glass. <laughs> yeah, you have that one on there. I do. I, 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 I it was full of broken glass. Just please walking on, walking label on something. Glass. Please label something for your garbage man. The last thing they want to do is get cut on flying glass that you didn't have in or a flying cup or a flying cup. Mark, that was awesome. Little side story, Mark dropped a cup on the ground, picked up... Didn't the, break! It didn't break when it hit the ground. Picked up the cup and was like, you know what? I'm going to break it off the side of the truck. And went to throw it in the back, hit the side, shattered everywhere. So I picked that up. Yeah, that was funny. It was great. Now I, you and the driver was busting a nut. I peed a little. I was laughing so hard. Oh my god. Little pee. Little pee never beep, hurt nobody. Beep, beep. Um, Alright, guys, like I said, uh, the English professor has... The Facebook for the weekend. Don't forget to vote. Continue to vote. All those will still be up at 9 o'clock. I have the whole first round pretty much booked. It, it uh, It's until like the beginning of May first round. I don't know if 32 people. The, the first round takes forever. That's fine. We're good. I mean, Lisa, this one will run for a little bit. We have time. And yeah, we have like lots said, of time. We got a lot. We have four weeks until Money in the Bank. So, yeah, there's that. All right. Well, uh, let's... Set this out. What? No, I'm not setting it out yet. I don't want to. All right, don't then. Remember, just because you're trash, it doesn't mean you can't do great things. It's called a garbage can, not a garbage cannot. Have a great weekend, everybody. Watch Facebook. Uh, I'll pop up. Enjoy some wrestling if you can. Like I said, go to an indie show if it's around you. Check and find out. These people are entertaining, and they're awesome, and they work hard. And if you want me to scout anybody, let me know. Let them know. 